Well, hi guys, Emma again. This is part three of this Sturmy Archer repair. We're making up some flanges. What I've done is I've set the first one of these plates up in the forge hog, made sure that there's enough clearance behind there to so that the, the boring bar doesn't run into the, the jaw, and I've set him up nice and square against the back of the reverse jaws there. So and cut the center out so that I've got a little bit of plate left in case I ever want to make a washer or something. Handy things to have. And started boring it out. So this is the Still needs about probably three mil, something like that, out of him. Not rushing it, just a bit at a time. Something's not quite right with my tool geometry here. And I think I'm nearly there with this one. I might set the next one up and, and have a bit closer look. It's not cutting as well as I would like. I had a bit of a mess around with it before, but I don't seem to have fixed the problem. Feels like it's rubbing, but there seems to be plenty of clearance. We'll have a bit more of a look. The tool feels nice and looks nice and sharp, so I don't think that's the problem. So there we go, that's a fairly nice fit from there. It just sits in there nicely. That looks good, fairly impressed with that. Not too loose, not too tight. The next job, I guess, is to mark out the PCD, which has got to be. I did a bit of a mud map, and it's two inches and five seventy-five is the PCD. I clean that outside edge up with a little bit of a bevel, and um, we set up a sharp tool at ninety degrees there, and mark out the PCD and the next job after that will be to find 36 graduations on our dividing dividing plate here and to mark off the the 36 and from there we'll just center punch them I think I'll just drill them with a center drill in the drill press is probably the easiest way so that's the plan of attack let's see how we go So I've put the dividing attachment in and I've worked out that 180 holes, every 5 holes, that'll give us 36. And I've marked the PCD, which is at the right diameter. And basically I'm just scratching marks in there at, at the, in the right place and counting 5 holes, which is not as easy as it looks. If we get lost, which we did, we can go back and count again. That should be five. And so on until we got 36 marks around there. So that's the last one there.
and hopefully we've got 36 graduations. So I guess the thing to do is take that out and center punch it and drill it. And set it up the other way around would be next. But we'll go over to the drill press and we'll we'll sort it out and we'll, we might just use the cent probably the center drill is the easiest because they've got to be countersunk. And we'll set up a depth gauge and see what we can do. We need to take that burr off the back of him first. I went and sat outside for a bit and centre punched all these. There's 36 of them, which is good. And we've set up this to the right depth with the table because this hasn't got a depth stop on it, this little drill press. So these look like they're probably going to make good holes with this centre. The centre drill will put a bit of a, a bit of a chamfer on each side too. So we're going to go ahead and drill them. Running this drill fast, it a little bit too fast. So here we go, we've drilled them and given a bit of a file up, they'll look pretty good. It's occurred to me, about halfway through this, actually I've got four holes cut drilled in the wrong spot, that this side only needs to have 18, not 36 holes, so this should be probably on the outtakes, but I'm going to put it in anyway. So I've got four holes here that have been drilled in the wrong spot, or double drilled. Um, I reckon it's easy enough to fix at this stage and I might just go ahead and do that. I'm going to just tap them and drill and put some some threaded pieces in them and silver solder them. Clean them up with file and that should do the job. And a coat of paint on them no one will ever know. But it's something to watch and something that we won't make a mistake on the other side. So I might just do that and call this the end of part three, I think, and we'll clean them up and you might get an eight tax video on how to do that or what, I, what I've done <laughs> to block them up, but we'll see you on the other side. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the rest of the videos and Appreciate appreciate any feedback too.